Hi and welcome to program 38 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list or you've not seen our website before, then please go to markplex.com and sign up for our email list and then I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. So I was asked by a client whether I had any programs that looked for a trend followed by a pullback and this is what this program attempts to do. Finding a trend is something, one of those things that probably looking at a chart, you can say, yeah, I can see a trend happening, but actually writing a program to determine that is somewhat more difficult. But the methodology I used in this program was to use linear regression analysis to find the best fit for a number of bars. And if the slope was greater than a certain amount, either up or down, and if we took each bar and worked out the distance between the bar, for example, if we're working, in this case, linear regression based on closing values, if the close, the sum of the distance between the close and the line averaged over the number of bars was below a certain amount, in other words, that the bars were sufficiently close to the line, then I would designate this as a trend for the purpose of this program. Then if we had a pivot low or a pivot high occurring after that, so for example, if we have a, in this case, you can see we've got the E-mini, we've got some potential trend lines up. We then had a low pivot. If that low pivot occurred within so many bars of the end point of one of these trending lines, then we would designate this as a, a pullback and we would plot these dots on the chart. So this is an E-mini and uh, could use this on several other charts for example here the euro dollar foreign exchange you can see we've got a, a small maybe trend here followed by a pullback here and then the price continues in the downward direction you'll notice that the the plot is a couple of bars after the pivot and that is because the in this particular case the right strength of the pivot is set as two Anyway, so probably what we should do is look at the inputs for this program. Just explain what they do. Okay, so first of all, price. Now this is used to determine the trend line. And uh, in this particular case, we're using the linear regression trend line analysis to try and find the best fit of line for closing values. You could change that to something else, low, high, or even a calculation. Left strength and right strength. These are used to determine the pivot points, in other words, the turning points, as I just described. Now, trend min and trend max. What this means is that for every single bar, we go back and calculate a potential trend line based on between five bars, in this case, and 26, uh, 25 bars. So we do uh, linear regression analysis for the current bar and four additional bars for the current bar, five additional bars, for the current bar, six additional bars, and so forth, until we got to the current bar plus 24 additional bars. So we've got trend min and trend max. And those values are stored in an array. The array is of size 50, so the difference between these two values can be no greater than 50. Now, when we find a low pivot or a high pivot, we then use these uh, values here, pullback min and pullback max. What this means is that once we found the pivot, we take from the pivot bar. In this particular case, we'd count back two from the pivot bar, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from the pivot bar, and see if at any point within those that range of bars, whether there is the end point of a trend line. If there is, then we draw the, or rather we plot the dot on the chart at the confirmation of the pivot. Now trend slope, this is quite an important one because this determines how much the trend slope has to increase or decrease within a certain number of bars. So this obviously varies quite significantly between different instruments. So for example, for the EUIUSD, I've got it set at 0 0.01, but if we were to go back to, for instance, the E-mini, and have a look what value we've got there. Go format analysis techniques. You'll see there that we've got a trend slope of one. So quite quite different. So you really need to uh, consider what would be an appropriate value for the price to move between so many bars and uh, 
set that accordingly. Now max coef, max coefficient, this really is determining which lines are drawn based on, as I described previously, the distance between the trend line and each bar that we're measuring the distance that we're calculating the trend line for. So for example, if we're calculating a trend line based on close, then what we do is we calculate the absolute value. In other words, if it's negative, we make it positive, positive, it stays positive between the close and the trend line. We add those up for every single bar that we're doing the analysis over and we then divide that by the number of bars. This gives us an average. And what we're saying here is that in order to uh, consider a line in terms of this uh, pullback program, then the maximum coefficient has got to be less than this value here. And in this case, that is set at 50. And then finally, we've got the, the draw lines, and this will determine whether the lines are drawn on the chart. In other words, these green lines here, whether they're drawn on the chart or not. And uh, if you go back, you'll see other situations where lines are drawn. Okay, so I'm going to make this program available for download, including the function that it uses. And what I'm also going to do as a bonus is to provide a an additional video which explains how you could use the function in various other ways. Anyway, I hope you might find this program useful. And as I say, it is available for download. Please go to markplex.com.